What's going on, my Zoiders? So I got another Zoids fan book here. This is volume four. And if you purchased any of the motorized or why not model kits back in the early 2000s, you would most likely get one of these fan books here. So this is the volume four and talk about memories. This is some pretty awesome stuff here. So on the opposite side, you get this image here. I'm not sure if this is like some kind of promotional poster in regards to the anime coming out or on DVDs. I'm not sure. On the other side here, we got some photos of people who made customs with their Zoid model kits. So this was way back in the days, a lot of motivation. One of the reasons why I was inspired to start customizing my Zoids here. And got some really interesting interesting ones here. So if you want, you can always pause the video to see it. That there is a Whale King uh, Deluxe figure. It uh, came with some extra little figures inside of it. So whoever or anyone that's watching this video that ever actually bought it, I'm sure you had a lot of fun. And then there is trading cards. I know there were trading cards for Zoe's Genesis. I got a few of them, but these here, really interesting. I do have some Pokemon cards of my own, but these guys here, I would have loved to seen the trading cards, you know, become big like Pokemon. I think it would have been really great. And on the complete opposite side of the fan book, you get all the model kits here images. So these are images uh, based off of the model kits and not the anime itself. And they were well detailed. So it seems like before putting them on this little poster here, they detailed those figures, especially with the panel lining. And so you can see that that's the Ultrasaurus there. And this image here says a lot, you know, there's the D-Bison, Command Wolves, and Shield Liger alongside the Ultrasaurus. Looks like they're going to war. This is the Geno Breaker here, a Raven edition. You can see that R emblem slash logo here. And take a look at that photo edit right there. Pretty cool stuff. You can see the Blade Liger in the background. When it comes to heavy assault type Zoids, especially those with like powerful guns and long range weapons and shields and great defense, the Elephander is by far my favorite. So I would take that over a Gojulus or an Iron Kong anytime. But not the Giga, not the Gojulus Giga. Then we got the Lightning Sykes, of course, Cheetah type here. And any of us who was there in the days of the Lightning Sykes, Lightning Sykes of the time, you'll know how fast that Zoid is. Then we got Sea Scorpion, which is basically the Death Stinger from the Zoid's Guardian Force anime. You can see that image there. We got Vans Blade Liger and the Geno Breaker. And then we got Liger Zero. So this is kind of like, I guess, transitioning from the Guardian Force to Zoid Zero Sentry there. Pretty cool image here where there's a, there's a Liger with no armor and then the white basic armor one there. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more, I have a few more that I can post of this. And uh, like, sub, thanks for watching, all right? So check out the others that's similar to this. See ya.